Good evening. Kate and I are in battleground states tonight, and we are not alone with just three days left. It Jeff Bennett, thank you. President Trump is already in Pennsylvania today with four stops in the Keystone State. He's focused on keeping his supporters fired up. Our Kelly O'Donnell is traveling with the commander in chief and has this report. Kelly joins us now from Butler, Pennsylvania. Kelly, the president is coming back to Pennsylvania one last time before Tuesday, right? Kelly O'Donnell, thank you. Now to the COVID crisis and fears that Halloween parties could be the newest super spreading events. The number of cases smashing records, infecting more Americans per day than ever before. Sam Brock has late details. And Sam's with us. Sam, today, Governor Cuomo in New York announced rules about traveling to New York State. And according to the latest NBC News poll, Biden is currently ahead here, but well within the margin of error. From North Carolina to the battleground here in a we're back in a moment with why some fear the we're back from Cleveland tonight. Ohio is one of the tightest battleground states. No Republican has ever won the White House without winning Ohio. And the state has gone with the winner of every election since 1964. But polling here now shows a statistical tie. To have a chance of winning Ohio, Joe Biden would likely need support from black voters here in Cleveland. And, Jose, the number of black voters who turn out in this city could be critical for Biden. I've been all over Ohio recently, and I've seen strong support for President Trump in more rural areas. In just three days, we'll know how it all adds up. Indeed, Kate. I'm Kate Snow with thanks to Jacob's Pavilion and the Greater Cleveland Aquarium for hosting us. Tomorrow, I'll be in Pennsylvania with Jose in Florida. Thank you for the privilege of your time, and good night.